This story comes from the book Monsters in Print by Adam Benedict, one of my favorite books in my collection. This is from a newspaper article of the Forest City Times in Arkansas, September 11th, 1891, and it tells the story of a terrifying creature that was seen in Crawfordsville, Indiana on September 9th of 1891. There is great excitement in Crawfordsville over a horrible monster which has been seen hovering over the city about midnight for the last two nights. It was first seen Saturday night, and it was about three or four hundred feet in the air, and it was about 18 feet long and 18 feet wide. It moved rapidly through the air by means of several pairs of side fins, which it worked most sturdily. It was pure white and had no definite shape or form, but resembled somewhat a great white shroud fitted out with propelling fins. There was no tail or head visible, but there was one great flaming eye and a sort of wheezing plane of sound was emitted from a mouth that was invisible. It flapped like a flag in the wind as it came on and frequently Water. gave a great squirm as though suffering unutterable agony. It circled about hovering over one house and then another, sometimes descending with a hundred feet of the ground. The story one told yesterday on the streets was hardly credited, but last night several unimpeachable witnesses saw the monster reappear before them. The Reverend Dr. J.D. Switzer, pastor of the Methodist Church, together with his wife, watched its movements for over an hour, as did several other highly respected citizens. Some think that the strange visitor portends some terrible calamity. Others say that it is a sign of the near approach of the last great day when the world will be destroyed. So great is the excitement that not an eye will be closed tonight until this monster of the air has appeared and once more taken leave of the town. Now, during my research of Crawfordsville, Indiana, I did not find any more articles about the monster or anything else that even resembles the creature. So as for what was seen over Crawfordsville, Indiana that night in 1891, we may never know.